let's do an initial inspection. Let's give some peace of mind. Or if something is discovered, you know, we, we might have to go further and see what needs to be done. Now at six, quick action from LA County following an exclusive CBS2 News investigation of condo buildings in Marina Del Rey. Good evening, I'm Pat Harvey. Now no one wants a repeat of the tragedy unfolding in Surfside, Florida. So a day after David Goldstein exposed problems in Marina Del Rey, inspectors showed up to check it out. CBS2 investigative reporter David Goldstein is live in Marina Del Rey with the very latest. David? Well, Pat, we're here at the Marina, the Marina City Club behind me. That's where inspectors spent the entire day looking at that building. And pardon me if I read here, we just got uh, uh, some results here. They said inspectors found no situations that would require emergency action or immediate impact to the tenants. But they did find several areas where repair and maintenance is required. And they instructed the property owner to analyze each of the structures using a qualified engineer. So certainly more investment investigation is needed. They spent the entire day today there, but uh, they certainly didn't want us there. Can you guys please leave the property? Security guards didn't want us there, even calling the sheriff's department as LA County Supervisor Janice Hahn brought county building inspectors to the 600 unit Marina City Club in Marina Del Rey. What are your concerns? Well, my concerns are that uh, you know, we don't have something happen here that that we've been watching uh, in Florida. The building collapse in Florida certainly prompted the county to take a look at the condos. Oh, it looks like a lot of cracks on that one. But it comes one day after our investigation. We obtained this construction report from 2018 that called the city club an aging property with pictures of waterproofing cracking on the deck and leaking pipes below. Another report prepared in April of this year said nearly all the waterproofing throughout the property and on the recreation decks and tennis courts is failing in some way with water penetrating the structure. It goes on to say over time this can cause significant damage to the building's structural integrity. Did you see the story we did last night? I did. Okay. So there were reports dating back to, to 2018. Why hasn't the county been involved for the last few years? That's a good question. The buildings sit on land leased from the county, and earlier this year, the county threatened to red tag the buildings if millions of dollars of repairs weren't made. And they've convinced the building owner to conduct a structural engineering study, which will take time. Inspectors now are taking their first hard look at the conditions. Some signs of aging are, are routine and others uh, may be of more concern, so our engineers will take a look at that. Yeah, we're going to get to the bottom of that and we're going to figure this out. Han met with residents and tried to address their concerns, but some homeowners came away worried. How does that make you feel living here? I'm scared, actually, after hearing it from her right now, I'm pretty scared. But again, preliminary reports, no imminent danger to anyone in the building. They're not going to red tag or do that, but uh, they certainly found some things that need repairs. And again, uh, they have instructed the building owner to hire a, uh, an engineer to look at the uh, structural impact on this building. Reporting live in Marina Del Rey, I'm David Goldstein, CBS2 News. All right. Thanks so much, David.